Welcome to Instant Replay presented by Cheese It. I am Andrew Weeby, and guess who's here? Charlie Davies. It's good to be reunited, Chuck. Oh, it's been too long, and now let's get into it. There's some heated plays, and I can't wait to cover them. Oh, yeah, this is going to be a banger. Do the kids still say that, Charlie? I don't know. Let's do it right now. Montreal, Atlanta, two huge plays for you, and we start in the 73rd minute. Joseph Martinez is in on goal. Here comes Rudy Camacho. Down goes Joseph Martinez. Out comes the red card and a penalty kick for Dog. So, Charlie, do you agree? It's a little soft. It is a little soft, but it's a penalty, and it's a red card because he's not making an attempt to play the ball. And once you do that in a uh, clear and obvious goal-scoring opportunity, it is a red card and you're sent off. Good job on the crew again. this one right. Yep. Dave Gantar and Jeff Gamble in the VAR booth got this one exactly right. And I said soft because look at this push by Rudy Camacho. This is more glancing than it is oh, like driving through him. Stop it's it, gl- Weeby. There's, there's no glancing blow. here. There's no it's glancing. A glance. it's, a, it's a little it's glance. It's a foul. It's a push okay, I know, on the back. I know. It's a foul. Don't give let me the me glance. Finish. You okay, didn't go, let go, me ahead. Finish. go ahead. You're right. It is a foul. Yeah, that's a foul. So it is dog so and a red card and BK. But what about this? 79th minute. Joseph Martinez, Victor Wanyama. Mano a mano, two guys that are not going to back down, Charlie. Both saw red after video review on this one. Jeff Gamble sitting Dave Gentar to the monitor. I'm 100% there with the red on Wanyama. He puts his hand on the neck. When you do that, unless you play for L3, you get sent off. But I think that should have been a yellow card on Joseph Martinez. I don't see violent conduct here. I don't see a headbutt. I see some pushing. It's in the chest. He's trying to get Wanyama out of his space. And from the start, Wanyama has been the bully in this situation. I think a yellow on Joseph Martinez would have been more appropriate. Oh, that's so sweet, Weeby. You have your love blinders on for Joseph Martinez. It's clear and obvious if we zoom in right here that the hand is up in the neck face region and it's a violent shove. It's a push. Yes, they both should have seen red, and the crew got this one right once again. Well done. Look at the 22-second mark on that clip. The hand is clearly in the neck and the face. Beautiful. Beautiful. Thank you, Rich. Send them off. Charlie, you're right. My love blinders are on. The father is back, yada, yada, yada. But look, what you're talking about here is Joseph Martinez knocking Wanyama's hands off his neck. He does not contact the face or neck. He is not intending to contact the face or neck. That is a soft red card in my opinion. But neither guy it's argued. Not, so it's not. Hold it's on, not, hold, on. Oh, okay. hold on, hold on, hold on. But not, neither guy. Hold on. Don't talk. You're 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 talking about the slap. I'm, trying to, the I'm slap. trying to finish. I'm trying to finish my part. Just you can okay. respond after. Okay. But neither guy argued, and that's usually a sign that both think the call was at least legitimate. So while I think it could have been a yellow on Joseph, I'm okay with reds to both. And Weeby, that's great. I'm not talking about the hand slap. I'm talking about the violent shove that goes to the neck face area of Wanyama following Dude, that's in his chest. Give me a break. If you pause it at 22 seconds, it is right, right in the neck, in the face. You can see it clear as day. That is not a chest. The right hand is on the upper chest. The left hand is right up under his chin on his face. Well, by letter of the law, if you make contact with the neck head area, you are going to be sent off. In this instance, Joseph Martinez does, and that is why David Gantar and his crew got this one right. All right, a little disagreement there, Charlie. I think we both agree on this one, though. Portland, San Jose, laid on. Diego Charles sees back-to-back yellow cards in about a minute span. Here's the first one. Oh, there's the scissors on Andy Rios. Yep, easy yellow card. Alan Chapman has that one. And here's the second. The rake on Jackson Ewell straight down the shin to the foot. That's studs. That's a yellow. Adios, Diego Chara. That is not what he wanted, but it is the correct call. That's not the only thing from this game either. 95th minute after a corner kick. It's going to be a brouhaha in a second here, but there is Sebastian Blanco maybe slapping Nathan, which a lot of you spotted and sent to me on Twitter. I understand why you'd send it my way and say, hey, maybe that's violent conduct, and it might be. But I only have this one angle from a distance, and I don't have enough information to sit here and tell you, Yes, that's brutality, excessive force, or even that there was contact made in that situation and Nathan just didn't react. 
If I'm the VAR, I'm not flagging that one for a review. But Charlie, you don't got to be a refereeing expert to know that this is a red card on Darwin Saren in the 20th minute. Sebastian Borhalter took a bow to the face. It is clear and obvious that this was violent conduct. Bow to the face and you're out. And Darwin Saren was out. Maybe so should have been Jonathan Mensah. We already had one dog, so let's have another first half stoppage time. Here come DC United. Kevin Predes picks Mensa's pocket, Charlie. He takes a long touch. That's important. We'll get to that in a second. And then Mensa very clearly grabs him and takes him down. It's a yellow card from referee Victor Rivas. Is this dog so in your opinion? When analyzing an obvious goal scoring opportunity, these four must be considered. Distance between the offense and the goal. Kevin Paredes is by Jonathan Mensa. Jonathan Mensa then takes down Paredes and doesn't attempt to play the ball. When looking at dog so plays, had Jonathan Mensa made an attempt to play the ball, a yellow card and a PK would have been absolutely fine and it would have been the right call. In this instance, he does not attempt to play the ball. The direction of the play, he's going at goal. Likelihood of keeping or gaining control of the ball. Eloy Room is not rushing out for this. He thinks that Kevin Paredes has a good chance of getting to the ball before he does. He's not rushing off his line. To me, signals that Kevin Paredes' burst has a good opportunity to either shoot directly at goal or lay it across for Ola Kamara and having an easy tap in. Then you also have to look at the location and the number of defenders. There are none. There are absolutely none. It's wide open. He's in the 18. For me, they got this call wrong. Victor Rivas and his crew should have sent off Jonathan Mensah. I agree with you, Charlie. I think that Paredes is going to get that ball, and I go back to Eli Room being rooted to his line. He thinks he's getting there. He does not attempt to come out and get this one, but it is a debatable play because of the length of that touch. The likelihood of keeping or gaining control of the ball is one of those four factors. And ultimately, it comes down to the opinion of the referee and the video assistant referee. In this case, both Robert Subiga and Victor Rivas said they don't think he's getting to that ball, or at least it's not clear and obvious that he would. All right, how about another tug in the penalty area? 40th minute, Seattle, Dallas. Freddie Montero is in, and whoa, 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 Charlie. That's two hands, back of the jersey, pull back. Montero gets the shot off. He misses, but could that be dog so on a penalty? Weeby, I think Fotis, Fasakos, and his crew got this one right. Yes, there was initial grab. Had Montero gone down, it's a pen and a red card, but it didn't, and it didn't impact the obvious goal scoring opportunity that followed after that foul. So for me, he got his shot off was unimpeded and they did a good job of allowing the play to continue all right two quick ones from galaxy rsl 48th minute anderson julio clears this ball out of his own area and sega koulibaly comes in to plant and take the charge sega this is not basketball and i agree with kobe jones when he said look it's a contact sport anderson julio goes in to clear the ball and it's just awkward from koulibaly he comes into the space he takes a knee to the chest that's incidental contact in this situation. It looks bad, but the call from Nima Sagafi is the right one in my opinion. Sega Koulibaly is the one that commits the foul on this play. Well done. I also think this was well done. 53rd minute, the only goal of the game, Efra Alvarez gets it. But is Efra offside on this one? I've taken a million looks at this, and I absolutely cannot tell you that he is clearly and obviously offside. It sort of looks like it, but a lot of plays do when you have angle distortion from the cameras. I think he is probably in line, and if he's off, it's by a negligible amount and certainly not clear and obvious. I think it's correct that this goal stood. And we head to New England, where the first place New England Revolution were taking on Nashville. And 65th minute, Gustavo Bo goes down in the penalty area after potential contact by Giuliani Baba. But was there a handball by Buxa just before? Either way, the referee went to VAR and overturned his original decision. Well, I think I did a pretty good job on breaking this one down. Let's go to the broadcast. I don't think that right leg came across. I don't think he made any contact with Gustavo Bo. As you see, Wheel hits it back. And then he stops. Well, you can't, it's, you, well, you it's can't tell from that. Oh, I, I could see. That. I could see. There's no contact there's whatsoever. No contact. Let's see here. There's no contact. He stops right there. And then Gustavo drags his right leg. There's no contact. That's yeah, not a penalty. Well, for me, that, that's not a pen. I've seen all the attacking plays. I've seen all the dives. I've, I've been at fault for a couple of them in my career. That, to me, was... See, uh, 
Jaleel saw that he was not going to get that to that ball. He stops. He pulls out. The foot comes down. I call it how I see it, and I know embellishment. I know how, how these things go. Gustavo Bo, he takes a long touch. He's not going to, and you can see the flail. It's the flail. Well, I guess all I'm saying right is, is yeah, you see that? The, so if there, That's I the guess what you're saying is if there's contact, it's because Gustavo drags his foot. Correct. And we're not quite done with this match just yet. In the 85th minute, center back for Nashville, Jack Mayer seems to maybe have a grip on Adam Buxa in the penalty area. But the foul is called against the Revolution's Adam Buxa against Giuliani Baba. And let me guess, Charlie, you did it better on the broadcast. You don't got to do it again. Yeah, let's hear it. Adam points to the spot. He gets there. And Jack Mayer is holding on to Adam Buxa. Yes, Adam Buxa bundles over Jaleel Anibaba, who's in, possession, in position, but the hold is on Jack Mayer. Now, was it enough? Probably not. Well, let me ask you this. I mean, this is a rhetorical mm -hmm. question. Yeah. Anibaba goes down. Mayer has a little bit of a hold on him and kind of pushes uh, Books over. The referee indicated he thought it was a dive on, uh, on Buxa, but I think... No, it wasn't a dive. Yeah, but, but, he, but that, that was the body yes. language for the referee, yeah. right? Or maybe it, you say it, you fell over on your own, but it, is it... I think it was you're, you're falling into Julio Anibaba and you're pushing him down, which was the foul. That was the call. Now, Jack Mayer did have a hand on Adam Buxa to prevent him from getting into that space, so, but it wasn't enough but to warrant a penalty. Buxa initiated the contact on... Uh, yes. All right. And we finished with this Tesha Rockandelli goal that was called back in Orlando. Well done to Armando Villarreal and well done to Guido Gonzalez Jr., the VAR, for spotting this one. Tesho is just barely offside, but it's clear and obvious this goal shouldn't have counted and it didn't count. Well done to the crew there. And big respect to referees everywhere. This is a near impossible job, folks, and we're just lucky to sit here the day after games and go through footage at our own leisure. For Andrew Weeby and Charlie Davies, for editor Phil Ivanka and our producer Rich Hernandez, we'll see you next time.